The idea here is to make visitors services much more convenient, but also improve the security of the building. So now when uh, visitors enter on Austin, anything that they need to do, they can do without ever having to enter student space unless invited. So that's a, to, help, to help improve the security of the building as well. Started construction on at this point, but it is a future project that I'd like to share, and that is a new library for the school. So currently the third floor uh, houses the library. Um, again, in the scheme of, of, of things, it's pretty antiquated. We're looking to replace that uh, third floor library with uh, remodeled third floor and then the addition of a, sorry, uh, remodeled third floor and then the addition of a second floor of the library. So deans and counselors offices currently are housed in this area below the current library. When the renovation on Austin is done, all those deans and counselors will move into those new spaces on Austin that will free up the second floor to create a second story of the library. So it will create what will be more the research, study, quiet area of the library on the third floor. This will be the more active um, maker space, genius bar, um, flexible space, meeting space for students, technology um, elements here on the second floor. So something that's very much needed. We'll also be um, adding some windows for more natural light here on the third floor space of the library because natural light is pretty limited in the library as it is now. Our first representative of the 21st District, Savannah Tavares. And from the 24th District, Lisa Hernandez. Thank you for being here. From the town of Cicero, our president, Larry Dominic. Thank you for being here. From the town of Cicero, our town assessor, Emo Kandari. One of our town trustees is in attendance, Mr. John Kava. Also from the town of Cicero, Craig Pesic. From the Board of Education for Morton District 201, our board president, Mark Kraft. Board Vice President Lito Minetti, Board Member Jeff Pesic, and Board Member Sandra Thompson. From the District 201 Board, I also would like to thank Dr. Kelly, as well as Ms. Jaramillo Flores and Mr. Luanga. Uh, from the District 201 Administration, Associate Superintendent Dr. Terry Moots, our Chief Financial Officer Mr. Ronald O'Connor. Executive Director of Buildings and Grounds, standing with Mr. O'Connor, Mr. Jim Zendel. <laughs> Principal of Morton East High School is not able to be here today. He's actually at a conference in Texas uh, presenting on behalf of the district on all the fantastic things that have been happening at Morton. He was invited by the American Institute of Research to present at a conference in Dallas, Texas. So he's not able to be here, but his administrative team is here. Uh, first, Dr. Michael Perry, Assistant Principal. <laughs> Mr. Randy Borgart, Assistant Principal. Ms. Carol Best, Assistant Principal. So they're the ones who are making all of this work in the next school year while construction is going on, making sure kids can get where they need to go and that the, the building is running. Uh, from our um, center district, District 99, our superintendent, Mr. Rudy Hernandez. From the Board of Education, District 99, Board President, Mr. Tom Thompson. And Board Vice President, George Rueda. Also Board Member, Derek Dominic. From District 99, uh, I'm sorry, from the District 99 Buildings and Grounds uh, staff, Mr. Brian Dominic, Buildings and Grounds Executive Director. Assistant Directors of Buildings and Grounds, Travis Couch and Brian Petrosek. And Alfonso Vega. Finally, I'd like to thank from uh, our law firm for District 201, Dalgala Law Group. Mohamed Lakhani is here to represent the, our, our law firm. So that's my long list of introductions. I appreciate it.